Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mori Crossing, and today we have a really exciting video. We're gonna get some inspiration for our beaches, everyone here, because I always need- oh hi Timbra. She's always over in this section. <laughs> anyway, I always need ideas for my beach and you guys have provided, thank you so much. This was all done by a Google form. The next theme is going to be a farm. So if you have a farm you're very proud of, please do put it in the Google Forms. I'd love, love, love to see it. And I'd love to feature it in a video. Tim Bray is so, so distracting, my goodness. If you don't know what this build is, this was actually the first build on my Japanese island. We did it on stream last week. It was great. Anyway, let's get on with the beaches video and get to the first island. So this is island number one, Dragon Tail by Aisha. And my goodness, look at this area! Little strawberries! Oh, so smart to put them on the beach so that they don't overgrow, like so that they stay in the bud form. Because if you don't know, you keep flowers on the beach and like you either run past them or, you know, have them in that state, they won't regrow. Smart. On to the next area and we have this beautiful little campsite tent area. I absolutely love the wooden plank design. It looks beautiful and we have this lovely picnic area with a barbecue right near the river mouth and it just looks awesome. I love the colors, the whites, the blacks, the greens. It's so well themed. My goodness. I'd love to kick back here and just relax. So here's a different area of their island and oh my god how cool is this? I assume it's meant to be like temple ruins which I never thought of to do. This is so so cool. I love the pots. Oh my god look at this little dinosaur area. So pretty and we've got more of the planks and this um, ancient rock head. I can't remember what this is called but it looks so good and all the, just the different sized trees. And it's so overgrown in the best possible way. Ah, beautiful. Just stunning. Aisha, just stunning. Just stunning. And what is this little area? Oh my goodness! With the cherry blossom items. Perfect for this time of year where we've just had all the cherry blossoms. Oh, let me just... Can I just get past... Let me just... What's it? Just... Hang on. <laughs> okay. Ah, I made it. <laughs> This looks so pretty with the cherry blossom um, petal leaves and the kimono back here. So fancy. I love the um, custom designs on the floor. They just look so pretty. Wow, what a start. What a start, my goodness. Next, we have the island of Pinewood by Jekka. And my goodness, her island is so pretty. I would definitely recommend coming. Oh my goodness, look at this, it's a little classroom! <laughs> Such a creative use of the beach. Oh my goodness, and I love these little bears. Wait, are those like custom designs or is that what they actually wear? That's so cute, anyway. T-shirts and the, <laughs> all the studying things. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Look the little, <laughs> little bear welcome sign. Oh my goodness, it's so, so good. This is so, so great, Jekka. Oh my goodness. And if you look up here, there's another area. Oh my goodness. And then you've got the festival, like, yeah, well, that's cool. Item there, and we've got a place to lie down here. Goodness, this is so pretty. Look at this as well. A little place to die. Oh my god. Oh my god, check out this is so beautiful! So green! <laughs> so basically you can put anything on your beach. I you just need to know how to do it. You just gotta ask Jekka and she'll you know she'll do it for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. What amazing use of the custom designs as well. I love these rugs. The whole island is beautiful, you should definitely come give it a visit. Wow, this is just so creative. They're just things I would never think to put on my beach, but that's the whole point because there's so much beach area to cover that, you know, why not put a school on your beach? Why not? I just want to see what's down here. Oh my goodness! Little railway. This is so pretty. 
A little art area. Oh my god, Jacob, this is so beautiful. Oh my god, look at this area. Wow. Wow. This is incredible. I love this. Is that like an ice cream hat? Wait. Wait what is that? That's so cool. Yes. <laughs> I'm just blown away. Blown away, Jekka, by this. So talented. Amazing. Next we have one of our lovely mods, Kimia's Cottagecore Island. Or Forestcore Island. I'm not sure which one she would classify it as. Oops. And oh my goodness, as per usual, Kimia sent it again. <laughs> this island is called Island Girl. And yeah, it's by the lovely Kimia, and we have the beautiful campsite. I think the campsite always looks really good on beaches. I think it's a really smart place for people to put it. Absolutely love this like gingham look, and these laces, uh, lace rugs, and someone's house here. There's just so many like items placed so perfectly. Oh my goodness! And I love, love, love this path. And how it looks like it's falling apart. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this! It's so beautiful. Absolutely stunning, Kimia. You've done it again. <laughs> we have. Oh my goodness. Look at these pretty, pretty. <laughs> You've got a little cafe here <laughs> with all the new Sanrio items. Oh, I didn't even notice that pumpkin. The white pumpkin. It, it looked almost like a sculpture. Oh my goodness, like the colours here are so, so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Really, really beautiful. Oh my goodness. Next we have Pire. Pire? I think that's how you say it. I'm really sorry. It's by my good friend Jimmy, and <laughs> it's his favourite plant. That's what his island is named after. And look at this area! Isn't it just stunning? It's an awesome Japanese themed island with a sort of retreat vibe. It's just so cool. Love these pagoda, the kotatsu over there, and we've got a little farm area. So creative. And I love the custom designs on like these stones. They look great. Absolutely stunning on this sand. And here's another little area. We have Zucker's house. He's got a little frog. He's got a bunch of squid outside. I guess that's okay, because he's an octopus, not a squid, right? So, octopus eat squid? I don't know, <laughs> but this area looks really cute. And I love just the little touches of the weeds and some of the mums here. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> On to the next area. And look at this! Little turtle, like, fishing area. We've got these beautiful custom designs. I have, oh, look at that, look, look at this so realistic this water oh my goodness and I just love how like sparse everything is it looks so like it should be here I, I love natural looking islands and <laughs> we've got little nets ready to go rock pooling I used to love rock pooling as a child this is great Jimmy and onto the last area and this is the really cool area on Jimmy's island he's made like a whale watching area since you looks excellent and we got this Look at this like uh, like an aquarium but a ship oh, it's so cool a ship with a bunch of fish inside look at this i love it so such a smart use of the standees oh my goodness jimmy bravo bravo this just looks amazing <laughs> yeah what just so much inspiration amazing thank you so so much jimmy it's been a pleasure. Next is the beautiful island of Mint by Tin. And my goodness, my, my goodness. Been a big fan of his Instagram for a long time. And just look at this. This area is just so full of so much. And yet it feels so connected and not over cluttered. The reds here, the whites and the reds and the brown. Let's just look at it all. So beautiful. I really want this actually. I really want this design. 
<laughs> please, can I have it, please? And then this area, oh my god! Absolutely beautiful, we've got some stunted plants here, we've got a little onsen area with a bathrobe, we've got some nautical themed things here too. All with the like dark brown colour and maroon kind of be beige, not beige, sorry. Yeah, maroon colour, absolutely beautiful. I love this hat! It looks amazing there, just next to there. Definitely want to use that. We've got um, a stage one extra player here as well. Oh, we've got a research area with a scientist's robes and oh my god this looks amazing. <laughs> There's so much to research here, so much inspo here. If you've got like a cottage core or any kind of core island I just definitely recommend visiting the Island of Mint. My goodness, so beautiful. Oh my god, is that, that's a red shell! <laughs> oh my god, look at all of these! We've got some turtles here, absolutely beautiful. I love the different colours, um, I love the customization of the different turtles, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, we've got a flamingo area here, I just so talented with colours and just absolutely stunning. Got a pearl here, just custom, the, the mixture of custom designs and just absolute raw talent, my goodness, this is just so beautiful. Tin, oh my god. Absolutely stunning, so much inspo here. Thank you so much for letting me visit. Next we have Anzen Isle um, by the wonderful Cookie. Um, and oh my goodness, look at this! It's like a post office, and I loved how, and I love that her theming is in winter. It's so different. And um, we have a little cafe, and oh my goodness, a bakery! A little bakery and cafe here. So pretty. <laughs> it's so creative. I have missed Christmas. Oh my goodness. This is so sweet. I really, really love it. Oh my goodness, which tea set is this? It looks so cool! Wow! It's so creative and wonderful and we've got a couple of other areas. And we have this little Christmassy area. Just so different. Um, I just love, I love seeing a variety of different things and what different people do. It's it's just so fascinating to see, you know. And we've got a little, and we've got a little, got a little, and we've got a little plant area here. It's just so creative and fun. The whole island is just a joy to walk around. And finally, we have this back area. I don't even need to. Back area with the. Next, we're on the island of Sweet Pea by the lovely bee. Hey, bee! <laughs> so, we have her beaches here next to these awesome, like, fishing areas. Anyway, we're looking at the beach. Uh, wow, like a little place to sit with a bunch of fish on the rocks. Ooh, this is a cool custom design. It really fits with the rock. And look at this. This is really pretty. I have to ask her what these codes are. Super pretty. And we have this like mini little ship. This is definitely a great idea. I've seen a lot of people do ships but like not quite on the edge. Like it perfectly fits with the shape of the island. This looks awesome! The new Sanrio item. The uh, cut off bamboo. Oh, I should totally use this on Matsukaze. That's such a great idea. I didn't even think of doing that. And we just follow it up here. So we have another beautiful ship again. Oh, look at the oil drum. It's so pretty. I love the colours as well. The orange with the white. And then. Oh, it's the, um, like. <laughs> what kind of fence is this? Coral fence, I think is what it's called. So 
That's it. Um, I think we can see it from up here, maybe? The lovely- wow, this is so beautiful! Okay, distracted, distracted. See that there's another ship back there? See it from- also, I didn't mention, but this is a lovely time of day. Is it like, in the morning? Oh, you can't see. I think it must be like 5 a.m. or something. So pretty. It's so cool. Wow, what an awesome use of the peninsula too. And that looks a bit like a some sort of either rice paddy or some sort of um, just like overgrown area. I love it when people use the hedge, the hedge fence <laughs> in this way. So gorgeous bee. Oh my goodness. Definitely worth checking out her. She's definitely worth checking out her DA as well, as with all of these beautiful, beautiful beaches. So, so impressed. It's incredible what you guys have done. Oh my god. <laughs> Next is the wonderful island of Maui Waui. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. By my lovely friend Fee. And hang on. I can just walk up. There we go. Has <laughs> to get onto the beach. We have this beautiful little strawberry area, similar to the. Uh, in a similar way to the first one, we have strawberries. I really should have thought of putting these kind of. this kind of thing on the beach so that it doesn't overgrow. And I love this custom design. Absolutely beautiful. So many different little areas. Oh my god, those little hula girls, that's so pretty! Little piano area. Oh my god, double rainbow! Holy shamoly, that's amazing! What a great day to set her tomb address to. And... Oh, sorry, feet. And just look at these colours, I love these custom designs, oh my goodness. So beautiful and lovely use of the Butterfly designs. So pretty. Whose house is this? June's house. Oh, it looks so perfect on the beach. And look at the double rainbow. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. So, so pretty. I just love, love, love this. I love the colors. I love everything about it. Oh my goodness. So pretty. We have this area. Over here we have- whoa, look at that moth! Oh my goodness, and the- oh that's so cute! Little mushroom area. And we have the campsite, the deck. So pretty, a long deck as well. It's just all so pretty, it's so sparsely decorated but it makes it feel so much more like natural and Pretty. I, I just love the contrast between all the different islands and how everyone's focused on different things. It looks so beautiful. Okay, so this one's gonna seem familiar because it's because I'm on the island of Mola Mola, which we actually visited as an island tour. Here's a video if you want to check out the whole of his island, because this is by Alan Pro, and my goodness, it's a really, really incredible island. Really unique. Definitely recommend it. And here. <laughs> It's such a great idea for the beach. Uh, the first time I saw this I just like laughed and just thought it was just such a cute, cute idea. All these penguins, <laughs> it's just hilarious. And yeah, it just looks amazing. Just It's really simple but really effective. Got a research area and over the other side. And we have this little ramen area on the rocks. <laughs> Or soba bar, whichever you'd like to think. Such a contrast to the rest of it. And we've got the little Mola Mola lamps. And we've got the Mola Mola just hanging out oh, behind the little bamboo, watching you whilst you eat. <laughs> okay, that's it. We have this amazing bigger research area because Alan is actually a marine biologist. So, of course, he's got to have somewhere on his island where he can do his work. Where you can also kick back and relax and go scuba diving. And oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. 
just so creative and he doesn't even have anything on the sand he's just got so many items that it feels so full and then we've got this area where he's clearly finding all of the fossils that are on this beach and collecting them and making his own little research dig area and this part made me again laugh out loud when i first saw it it's so smart um you've got like a little area where everything's in little boxes <laughs> it looks just so good so so good awesome research area my goodness look at those giant crabs terrifying terrifying but awesome and yeah look at this just looks so good i cannot explain why well i can't it just looks great <laughs> it just looks like somewhere you'd come across in real life i think that's why it sells so well we've got a little um manta ray petting area where you can come and say hello to all the little manta rays or just rays <laughs> stingrays what are those they're not manta rays manta rays are the huge ones <laughs> just like stingrays those kind of things and we've got some seaweed and this awesome water design just amazing such a fun island great job alan next we have the island of stardew by the lovely melon ellen and look at this it's so pink <laughs> have this beautiful pink bar like a almost like a oh it's a sweets bar yes so beautiful hello poppy and then we have this <laughs> i love the the, uh, the standees that's what they're called right we have a uh, hello house who is this bob's house of course we've got bob's house on the beach and we'll just run to another area and this part is like a space themed part i guess we have all of these novas oh my god they look so good on top of the ice columns oh my god look at all of these items she has look at all of these items that she has this looks so pretty i didn't realize this made such a loud noise that's so cool so different i love how different all the islands are from each other look at this it's just i love these custom designs as well all the cute little uh, like colorful stars on the ground as well <laughs> oh my god listen to that music with this ufo <laughs> it fits so perfectly ellen oh my god <laughs> yeah i just love this area it's so pretty and what a great use of the Celeste items. It's so colourful, so creative, looks amazing. Great inspo, thanks so much. Next island is... Uh, Savaro? I'm really sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, by Leira, um, aka Abyss Fanfi. Um, we've got this beautiful, stunning little place to eat. And... Their island is just so, so fun. I love how 3D the deck looks. And let's move on to the next beach. Okay, so we have this really stylish place to just sit and read books. And right next to it is a sort of research area, I guess, with this really fancy desk and a candle and all these deep sea fish and all these different like um, turtle and like what are these called <laughs> fish models models there we go looks so cool so so cool if we just come around here we have so many different kinds of flowers and it just gets super colorful over here with all these shell designs great use of all the shell items because i find it really hard to use them actually even though they're really pretty but this looks wonderful our little white area here it's just so pretty all the purple flowers just beautiful thanks so much for having me abyss thank you it's so beautiful <laughs> look at this little design it's adorable look at this little fish here they're all hiding in the little in the little um flowers how cute is that and finally we have uh ignore this area i'm gonna be making a Hogwarts Express here but I haven't quite finished it um, but yeah lastly here's my island my Harry Potter island so yeah this is my most recent build which was 
um, the hut on the rock from the first film. So yeah, you can make like a mini island area like this if you like. Um, I sort of made it so that it looked like it was kind of an island with these like water designs down here that goes to the edge as close as it can do. And then behind I've got Shell Cottage. I'm gonna do a little area here for the inside but that's not quite finished yet. <laughs> yeah. Then we have Shell Cottage. So this is what I was talking about. These are supposed to be strawberries and um oh of course of course I do this. Okay <laughs> so this area is supposed to be like a strawberry farm but maybe instead I'll put flowers there and I'll put like a little strawberry farm here or something for um, Fleur and Bill whose house this is from the sixth, fil sixth film and book. Um, and we've got Dobby's grave here um, and his little socks. And there's the flying ford angular and a little area here for fishing and all the likes like that. And up there you can see another area that isn't finished yet. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that this video has given you some inspiration and some ideas. It certainly has for me. Thank you everyone who submitted their island because oh my god you guys are talented. I just, I can't even, honestly so much inspo and everyone's was just so different which made it even better like yeah <laughs> thank you so much and for the next video of these i'm doing farms so please do get those submissions down below the google form is there make sure you put all your information and hopefully i'll get to see your creations in the next video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video